Nick Biowaka to Pocket News for Monday the 26th of September. Today on the show, Palmer Lucky's not so virtual screw up and crowd crushing coasters. They're all dead. All right, here's what made all the headlines over the weekend and the founder of Oculus is unlucky in memes. On Friday, the Daily Beast reported that quasi-billionaire Palmer Lucky had been secretly funding a group called Nimble America, a non-profit tasked with promoting Donald Trump's political campaign by slamming his opposition with internet memes. Welcome to 2016, it sucks. The report alleged that Lucky was vice president and a founder of the group, which generates political shit posts and memes. The Daily Beast also stated that Lucky revealed himself to be the owner of a Reddit account called Nimble Rich Man, which he used to post anonymously about the Nimble America cause. The account, which has since been deleted, had the following to say on a pro-Trump subreddit. Quote, we know Hillary Clinton is corrupt, a warmonger, a freedom stripper. Not the good kind you see dancing in bikinis on Independence Day, the bad kind that strips freedom from citizens and grants it to donors. So you know, all class. The messaging unsurprisingly caused a huge amount of backlash among VR developers. Following the news, a number of development teams took to Twitter to declare that while Lucky was at Oculus, they would no longer build or support their games for the Oculus VR device. A statement from Super Hypercube developers Kokoromi and Polytron stated plainly, quote, We cannot tacitly endorse these actions by supporting Lucky or his platform. Admittedly, they're probably not going to lose the support of the big developers like Insomniac. The team behind the Oculus exclusive Edge of Nowhere had the following to say, quote, Insomniac Games condemns all forms of hate speech. While everyone has a right to express his or her political opinion, the behavior and sentiments reported do not reflect the values of our company. We are also confident that this behavior and sentiment does not reflect the values of the many Oculus employees we work with on a daily basis. But you know, there's a buttload of money to be made with really cool hardware. Now, Lucky does admit that he sponsored the cause, but did try to defend his actions. In a Facebook post, he said, quote, I contributed $10,000 to Nimble America because I thought the organization had fresh ideas on how to communicate with young voters through the use of several billboards. I am committed to the principles of fair play and equal treatment. Interestingly, he also states that he is not actually a Trump supporter and will be voting for the Libertarian Party. So I guess he should probably tell his twin brother that so he can not go to Trump rallies. The Trump rally ended hours ago and the people that were trying to get through, they didn't, they, these aren't Trump supporters that they're impacting. It's mostly just the people of Orange County that want to get around. But Palmer Lucky is an adult and he has millions of dollars and he's entitled to spend those millions of dollars on whatever he wants. You just can't stir up an adolescent shitstorm and not expect to have some hot, wet mess flung back in your face. It's a pretty irresponsible move for a high-powered individual to get involved in childish internet fights, but while Lucky is definitely a contributor, he says his involvement is far smaller than reports have implied. He claimed, quote, I did not write the nimble rich man posts, nor did I delete the account. Let's give him this one and assume he didn't delete the account. But according to emails shared by Daily Beast reporter Gideon Resnick, Palmer had previously confirmed via email that he did, in fact, write that post. So he's either lying then or he's lying now. And back to Palmer, and the denial continues. Reports that I am a founder or employee of Nimble America are false. I do not have plans to donate beyond what I have already given to them. He added that he is deeply sorry his actions are, quote, negatively impacting the perception of Oculus and its partners. Oculus CEO Brendan Arib has since weighed in to assure Lucky he is on his own. Quote, everyone at Oculus is free to support the issues or causes that matter to them, whether or not we agree with those views. It is important to remember that Palmer acted independently in a personal capacity and was in no way representing the company. It's tough to know what the long-term effects of this news will be, but I am guessing it will not affect Oculus sales in any way, and Palmer will continue to do whatever he likes because he is stupidly wealthy. It's all so depressing. Here's some pretty pictures to make us all feel better. The team at Playtronic has released a trailer which introduces the characters we're going to meet on our way through ukulele, and apparently Shovel Knight is making an appearance. It's all so beautiful, but hope is dead. Here's thing of the day. I just don't think you're taking the job seriously. Whatever, bro. You just mad because you got a uh, poopy face. How dare she call me poopy face? Thing of the day. 
the Planet Coaster devs have been hounded over the lack of coaster crashes since the game's inception. Well, the studio has changed its tune, announcing that crashes will indeed be coming to the game, and the crowd loves it. One in three men suffer from poopy face. With your donation, we can put a smile back on their faces. Donate today and know you've made the world a little bit better. Thing of the day. All right, that's it for Pocket Tuesday. My Pocket Tears this afternoon on our Pocket YouTube channel. We look at this week in games which is basically what's coming out this week in games. And there will be no live stream this week. I know we normally live stream. We will not be doing it this week because we've got a huge amount on. We're actually doing some really cool stuff that you'll see. Uh, there's actually three things that are particularly awesome that you will see very soon. And then you'll hopefully forgive me. But if you're looking for someone to not forgive me with, then join the Pocketeers Facebook group and Steam group. There are links for everything I just said in the description below. Today's thing of the day graphic was made by Rory McGinnity. Mr. Poop Face himself. If you've made a thing, please send it in. Until we next send my Pocketeers dick by out. Mwah! And before we go, <clears throat> Doctor of Who, who's sitting over there on his like 14th internship, uh, he did the he did the books on Ask Pocket on Friday, Nick Boys to Men, and Nick Boys and Knickerbockers over the weekend. He turned them into actual books. He's a freak. He even, like, full on bound. Madness. So, I guess what I'm saying is, if you're looking for a book to be made, uh, just contact the Doctor of Who on Twitter, because he will gladly do it. He wants to do it. And he'll do each one. That's a promise. Made on the internet. Can't be broke. At AJ Whittaker, we should use Ask Pocket to ask Nick Boy if we could visit the GG office, considering we work only a couple of floors above him. <laughs> above me. Pineapple! Dick Prison! That's it for today's episode of Ask Pocket, my Pocket! Nick Boy!